Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to give you a behind the scenes walkthrough of what I did to create a podcast with a historical figure or dead person using AI. Now this could be useful in schools if you're doing an interview project and you want to interview a historical figure or somebody from science. I did mine on Gregor Mandel and I'll put the link below if you want to watch that video version to check it out. You could do this at many levels, just getting the text of the podcast or put it together in a video like I did it, or you could do something fancier than what I did. But I used a bunch of free tools and I put them together relatively quickly and I think this is possible for most students to be able to do if they follow these steps I provide in the video. So let's get started. First of all, before you get into any sort of AI tools or start generating fun images, you want to do your research on the subject. So if this is a historical time period or a particular person, you want to make sure you do a deep dive into their life and find out really important facts about them. That way you can both generate really good questions and when you're interacting with the AI, you know off the top of your head if the AI is going in the right or wrong direction based on this person. I know Gregor Mendel's work very well because I've taught about him for many years. So after reading books and reading lots of articles and reading his letters, I knew exactly what I was looking for in this podcast experiment. But I would make sure you do that and go ahead and keep a list of your sources along the way in case your teacher wants to see them or you want to be able to have them at hand when you fact check what's going on with the AI. Next up, you want to create your question list. Specific requirements about what you might want to ask for your project or what you're working on in school. I created a bunch of questions that I thought would be interesting for this proof of concept video, but the main ideas you want to follow when creating questions for an interview with AI are the same ones you want to follow when interviewing a subject in real life. Make sure you ask clear, open-ended questions. Ask for the opinion, ask for superlatives, what did you think was the best thing, what was the worst thing, what was the hardest. Ask them to describe something, but don't just ask straight up yes or no questions or answers that are just plain facts because that's not interesting for the interviewer or the interviewee. So create a list of questions that you're going to want to ask in your AI interview and then create backup questions or maybe supplemental questions or versions of those questions you could ask in a different way if the AI doesn't come back with an answer that's satisfying to you. It's good to have several different versions of your questions on hand and different questions in case things go in a different direction than you expected. All right, next up, what we're going to do is go to ChatGPT to answer our questions. So what you want to do is pull up a new chat in ChatGPT or another large language model like Bard, and you're going to tell it to be the person you want to interview. So the prompt I used is this, and you can copy this from the description in the video too. Act like Gregor Mendel, father of genetics. From now on, provide answers to my questions as Gregor Mendel would answer them in an interview. And then Gregor Mandel goes to introduce himself, which is very exciting. And I actually didn't end up using all of this introduction in my podcast, because that's what you can do. You can cut out the parts you don't like. I could also give it other parameters like word count limits on responses or asking it to have a particular personality. If you know something about the personality of the person that you're researching, I chose to keep it open-ended just for the purposes of this experiment, but play with it a little bit and give it different instructions for how you think you want it to respond. You may also want to ask it to avoid certain topics or ideas that are beyond its time period. I was talking to Gregor Mendel as if he was kind of a ghost that knew what genetics was, but genetics as a field really didn't get started until about 30 years after he died, so his answers are a little bit off base as far as what his thoughts on his impact was. That's a whole other thing we could get into later. So here are my questions, and you can see I went through and I asked about, I kind of asked a generic uh, thing about pea plants, but it was good to get that background information in, especially if I'm doing this podcast project for a science class, you might want to include scientific information, and you can check it to make sure it's accurate. Um, talked about how he felt when other scientists didn't really accept his findings. I think this question I ended up cutting out of the interview just because I didn't want to make it too long, but that's what you can do. You can go through and go back. Asking it to speculate on a rumor, which was pretty cool, and then asking him to deliver any last words of wisdom for future science students. This is something interesting as well. So I asked the AI, what is something interesting about your life that I haven't asked about that you would like to share? And then he went on to explain how he's really interested in meteorology. He, was also, he also liked to study weather patterns along with genetics, which I knew was true. He, but if you had just done kind of a shallow dive of Mendel's life, this would be something that you probably would gonna want to go back and verify and make sure that the AI wasn't just making this up, what we call an AI hallucination. And you can notice some of these responses are a little bit long, which again, you can cut down if you want when you finish up and polish up your interview. Okay, so next up, it's time to record yourself asking your final versions of the questions that you want for the podcast. Now, if you really wanted to go for it, you could record yourself at the end, uh, responding, making facial expressions along with the subject's answers. I decided not to do the side-by-side -side interview style just for time's sake, but if you wanted, you could do this last as well. So I recorded myself on video asking the questions to Gregor Mendel, or Mendel, depending who you're asking, and 
then it was time to create his audio. So what I would do then is go to an AI audio generator, something like PlayHT, Eleven Labs, lots of them out there. And you can create an account and you have a certain word limit in those accounts. And you can feed your interviewees answers to the questions to, to this system, pick a voice that you like and create a voice that you think would sound pretty acceptable for your interview. So in retrospect, I'm grateful for that turn of events as it ultimately allowed me to contribute significantly to the understanding of heredity. The voice that I had was not my favorite. Obviously, Gregor Mendel was born in the former Czech Republic, so his accent wouldn't be this kind of like British man that I used in the interview, but it worked enough for the purposes of the interview in the video, and I thought it was fine. It would be cool later on, though, to get a little bit more authentic of a voice for Gregor Mendel or another similar historical figure. And as a bonus, you could also create a visual for the subject. So you could go through and use something like Mid Journey, Dolly 2. This Imagine Art one is relatively easy to access and you don't have to have a Discord account to use and it will generate one pretty good image for you. So here we have another Fujifilm photograph of Monk, Gregor Mandel in his garden, wearing Beats headphones, having that little anachronistic detail in there is something that I thought was cool to have him look like he's recording a podcast, even though obviously podcast did not exist in Gregor Mandel's time but it was a fun little added bonus to the interview. So then we're gonna put it all together in a Movie Maker software. There's lots of them out there. I used iMovie, super easy for me. I got this image of Gregor Mendel. I paired it with the audio from that I downloaded from my AI voice, and then I inserted in myself asking the questions, added a little intro music, added a little outro music, and I had my podcast. I also put on some goofy over large headphones just to make it look like I was a cool podcaster. But that is it. Now, from start to finish, this could take people different amounts of time depending on what software they use, their learning curve, comfort level with some of these tools. Make sure you do your research first on the front end and on the back end to verify what the AI is saying is appropriate for your project or your assignment or whatever you're working on. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about doing something like this. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.